From a theory of the world power, known only as the Oxford, trying to gain control of all industry and commerce by a murderous attack of terrorization and destruction. Richard Wentworth, famous criminologist and the spider, went for his own creation, are aiding the police in their efforts to crack down and destroy this menace. The train is due now. Man behind it. What about this fellow? He's Bradshaw. He works here. All right, stand over here. You know this one? Not my crew. Don't know him. I do. One of his names is Burke. Take him in the office and keep him there.
I feel that we were very close to the octopus last night. He's becoming bolder. He's bound to overstep himself soon. I doubt that we'll catch him that way. He's as clever as he is ruthless. Yes? Chase, Mr. Green to see you. Send them in. I think I have something that may interest you. Open that package, Commissioner. You'll find the hat and cape of the spider. It was found in the culvert last night, near the scene of the wreck. Who found it? My detectives. And uh, that isn't all they found or saw. No? What else? They saw the spider go into a culvert. They started to go in after him, but before they could enter, another man came out. The opposite end of the culvert was blocked, so there was only one entrance, the one this man used. And they recognized him. Who is he? Richard Wentworth. Strange, isn't it, Wentworth, that on several occasions you were discovered in a place from which the spider had just left? Gentlemen, an accusation against me has been implied, but not made directly. I insist on one. In fact, out of fairness to myself, I demand that you make a direct accusation. Are you willing to swear out a warrant? Well, yes, of course. May I use your telephone to call my lawyer? Certainly. Hello, Jackson speaking. Hello, Jack? This is Wentworth speaking. Yes, yes, I'll hold the phone. I'm getting your finger tappings. Go on. Yes, yes, I'm about to be arrested. I want you to go down and make arrangements as to my bail and so on. I'm in Commissioner Kirk's office. Yes, call me back here, please. Yes, yes, Major. I got that. I'll attend to it right away. The Major's being held in Kirk's office. Get one of the cars. We're leaving at once. Kirk speaking. Yes? All right. Your lawyer says he'll meet us in Judge Condon's chambers. Gentlemen, at your service. Hold it. It was careless of me to leave this where it could be found. It won't happen again. After him! Catch him! After him! A spider, of course. I thought you'd caught the spider, Mr. Chase. You still want to swear out that warrant against me? Of course he doesn't. I'm... I'm very sorry, Mr. Wentworth. I, it was an honest mistake, motivated sincerely by a desire to help us all. But the evidence was really very strong against you. Hmm. Strong, but circumstantial. I hope when we catch the octopus, Mr. Chase, it won't be by circumstantial evidence. Well, what is our fair lady operative to report today? Plenty. But whether it means anything or not remains to be seen. I've been checking on our suspects, both at their homes and at their offices. And only one of them seems to be doing anything which might be considered suspicious. Which one is that? Mr. Chase. He's been receiving unknown men in conference, both at home and at his office, and holding many conversations over a private phone he recently had installed. Hmm. Kirk's having him watched by plain clothes men. Reason to believe he's gone away several times without Kirk's men knowing. We'll have to do some checking about that. Good afternoon, Mr. Wentworth. Good afternoon. I'd like to see Mr. Chase, please. I'll tell him you're here. He doesn't answer, but I'm sure he's somewhere in the building. Well, I'll wait if you don't mind. It worked. This looks like his new phone. Then Mr. Chase has been kidnapped by the octopus. <laughs> it might look that way, but doesn't it seem strange that he'd have time to write this? Then you don't believe it. I'm sorry, Mr. Chase is not in the building. Well, call the police commissioner and tell him that Mr. Chase has disappeared. Disappeared? 
It looks as though Blinky McQuaid will have to take up the trail from here. Gorman got his orders to grab Chase right from the octopus himself. I know that, Blinky. What'd he do with him? Gorman's holding him in that old factory on North Street. If you ask me, it's another gag to try and trap the spider. He seems to get wind of everything that goes on. I hope he takes the bait. Right, Blinky. You and me both. Keep your eyes open. We expect the spider. at innocent victims by throwing poison vapor firecrackers into a hospital room. Wentworth, as the spider attempting to rescue his bodyguard, Ram Singh, jumps into the den of the activist henchman. Will he escape? Mm -hmm.